Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownHouseLiving.com and today I'm super excited because I got a new dash cam and I am such a obsessed person when it comes to dash cams. I always like to get the latest technology and this is called the Thinkware Dash Cam F800 Pro. And today I want to share with you what's inside the box. I didn't even open it yet. All I did was break the seal. So let's unbox it and see what's inside. I'm so excited. So what's inside? So we have the actual webcam and it's very lightweight, but yet very well made. So I think this is going to mount on my dashboard perfectly. Let's see what else is in the box. And again, first time I'm opening it. Okay, let's see. Of course, we have a nice user guide here that you could always refer to. I typically go on the internet when I need to um, look up instructions or if I want to see exactly how something is done. Let's see what this guy is. This is probably the mount. Let's just open that up and see what it looks like. Yep, that looks like the actual mount that goes behind it. And here we have a whole packet of wiring. Now this wiring is for if you want to attach it directly like to your car, to the electronics of your car. I do not do that, so I'm gonna put that aside. Wow, this looks like the rear camera. Could that possibly be? Yeah, it looks like it. So I'm going to have to figure all this out later. And of course, here's all our cable. So we'll need this cable to run probably the rear camera. That's how my current one is set up. And that looks like few more things here. Oh, we have our SD card reader. That's just a packet to keep everything dry. This is so freaking awesome. It comes with a, a 32 meg SD card. I believe it's 32 meg. Of course, I'll have that running on the screen. This looks like some other mounting tools, a spare mounting tape. And this is the SD card reader. So, Without further ado, I am going to figure how to put this all together. It's raining out today, so I'll probably get all that done tomorrow. And I want to be able to take it outside on a nice drive and show you what the video quality looks like. But as far as the product goes itself, it all seems so well made and I'm super excited. Like I said, I've, I've used Thinkware before. I absolutely love them when it comes to dash cams. They are my go-to people. So let me get this whole thing set up, figure out how to use it, and I'll get right back to you. So I'm super excited. I have everything ready to go for installation in my vehicle today. I have my front-facing camera, my rear-facing camera, and of course I inserted my SD card, which is very super easy to do, and they do give you that as well, plus the card reader. And again, this is the Thinkware Dashcam F800, and of course I'll have a link to where you can purchase one of these for yourself. I'm super excited to get it installed. It's very easy to install. I'm choosing to use the accessory pack, and again, you can get this on the Thinkware Dashcam website as well. I'll put a link to where you can pick up one of these. Now you can hardwire this to your car if you know how to do that. I don't, so I always choose to use the cigarette lighter installation. It's super easy to do. So I'm gonna install the front facing and the rear facing camera. And of course I'll show you what that process looks like as well as some of the video from the Thinkware dash cam and I'll show you the amazing quality what that looks like as soon as I get it up and running so I'm super excited to get this going okay folks so I'm in my car right now and it's freezing out so I have the heat on excuse the fan but I wanted to show you how it looks after installation of the F800 Pro by Thinkware and the installation went very smoothly. Um, it literally took about 10 minutes to install 
there's uh, a big sticky adhesive right behind the camera and you just find uh, a spot um, on your windshield and it guides you through the process so it'll let you know like make sure you align it to the top of your roof and so on so that really went easily and then I just connected the rear camera in and that was it and of course I'm going to show you how to install the um, the software that you need to put on your phone but I love this camera because it's very sleek very small and it's non obtrusive so when you're driving it's not in your face and it's not in your line of vision now the other camera that I had had a flip screen and you were able to like see the road and I prefer this so much better I, I because I found that very distracting so let me show you what the rear camera looks like so there's the rear camera and as you can see it's centered I have an SUV and I just kind of centered it and um, it does come with adhesive so that you can just stick it to your car um, it's pretty easy to install all you do is connect this camera to the front via wire and I ran the wire like underneath that rubber in my car right there and then any leftover wire I just kind of did that so it would be neat you know of course you can arrange it how you see fit in your vehicle but they give you a lot of wire so you'll have extra um, and then you'll need to like wrap that up and push it out of the way it's better to have too much wire than not enough but I just wanted to show you real quickly what it looked like and of course I'm going to take a ride and get some uh, video footage of what the road looks like for both front and rear camera Now I wanted to just mention one quick and easy way to read the video data um, stored on your SD card is with this SD card reader and Thinkware gives this to you as well as this SD card. So all you need to do is just pop the SD card in and you want to make sure that you have this little magnetic strip upside down with the Thinkware logo on the top and then you just insert that right into here and then pop it into your USB of your computer or any SD card reader and you'll be able to read all of the video data perfectly and I will show you a screenshot or a video of what that looks like it's super easy and it's the easiest way I think to pull any of the videos off of your Thinkware dash cam. So that's one way that you can do it and it's my preferred way. Okay, so we're in the app right now and I wanted to just show you a few things in here real quick. So here you can see we have our dash cam settings and you can go in and of course click on all of these and choose whatever settings float your boat. You have your recording settings and so on and then back out and then you can go to your connection settings that's where your Wi-Fi settings these are your files so you can set like continuous incident in here and it shows you all of the different files um, any motion detection you can turn that on for all front or rear and so on so just go in and tweak your settings out to your liking always make sure that when you want to see the live view that you're connected to your Thinkware Wi-Fi so all you do is you click on your live view and as you can see it'll pop up in a second there we go um, we're getting some lottery tickets right now and you can clearly see the live view when you want to see the rear view you just click on rear view and there's the rear view and as you can see it's crystal clear everything comes up perfectly the app is super easy to use it's pretty intuitive but I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough as to what it looks like and what you can expect um, there's also a lot of information in here make sure your GPS is connected and so on and that's pretty much it okay so when you pop your SD card reader into your computer a window will open up and it will display all of these folders 
in it you'll find the user guide settings and so on and in these two folders here you'll find your recordings so when you open this up you can see these are all of the recordings that my thinkware dash cam recorded between morning and evening and then you can open up this folder and you'll see some other videos in here as well so if you need to grab um, a video say you know you wanted to make a note of a specific thing maybe an accident or something like that all you do is just drag and drop this video right on to your desktop in a folder and you can have any of these videos easily stored on your computer it's super easy to do you can go in here and delete all of these videos as well so it makes navigating and saving all of your videos and discovering all of the other settings as well so this card reader makes it super easy to be able to get your user manual and all of your videos and other settings as well it's super easy to do and my preferred way of managing all of my video files as well as access to anything else that I need so now I'm in the settings folder once you pop the USB into your computer and all you need to do is click on the settings give it permission and you can actually make changes right from your PC to all of your settings so it's really cool if you don't feel like doing them on the app you can do them exactly here and it works out just the same so again all you want to do is navigate to the settings folder and you can see right in there is your settings file so all in all it's pretty nifty um, once you pop that USB drive into your PC you have control over everything including your user guides your videos and your dash cam settings right here so i really like that feature and i hope that you get a chance to check it out too okay so i'm testing out the audio so you guys can see how clear it is um, on the F800 Pro. You can see how clear the quality is. It's finally a nice day and I'm going to take a drive and show you guys what excellent film quality you get. And it's really nice because my last dash cam I had you know the visual screen in front of me and while some folks like that I personally find it distracting so now that it's not there to distract me and it's still recording and keeping my vehicle and us uh, safe I'm much happier with this dash cam for sure continuous recording will now start GPS connected on your smartphone, connect to a Wi-Fi network whose name starts with Thinkware. Okay, so now that you saw some examples of the video quality from the front and rear facing camera, you can see exactly why I love the F800 Pro by Thinkware. I personally think it's one of the best dash cams I've ever owned and I've been through several. And the pricing ranges between $349 and $379, depending on the uh, bundle that you pick. Now, don't forget, you can also purchase the power cable as well if you don't want to hardwire um, the dash cam to your car. And that retails for $30 or $29.99. And again, I'll have the links to where you can purchase the Thinkware dash cam. F800 Pro uh, below in the description of this video and I will also have it in an article on sassytownhouseliving.com. Now of course I'm going to have all the specs, a lot more details in the article 
um, that I might have missed when I was shooting the video but I just want to make sure that you know it has parking surveillance mode and it has so many more features there's a cloud available for you to use as well for your videos and I will be sure and include all of that information in the article on sassytennisliving.com so don't forget check the link below to head on over and read that this thinkware dash cam has amazing quality super night vision coupled with their new energy saving parking surveillance mode that extends coverage duration exponentially I can say so much more and keep going on and on it has the wide angle lens and so many other things that I tried to include across the screen in the video but again there's so much I might have missed it so be sure and head on over and read that article I think you'll love this dash cam as much as I do please be sure to give us a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel it means the world to me when you do and you can also click that notification bell so you can be notified every time we upload new content i love sharing new and exciting products with you and i hope that you were able to grasp just how awesome this product is if you have any questions please feel free to leave them below i make sure to answer each and every one of them thanks again for watching and have yourself a great and safe day.